The Arcturian Group, November 23, 2014. Greetings dear ones, we are here to assist in moving the energy of the world from the old dense heavy and into the new light. It may seem as if the world is falling to pieces but no, you only see the storm before the calm. Hold your peace dear ones, while not getting too involved in appearances. Try to remember and live out from truth at all times and in all circumstances. This is how you practice. The world teaches that living is easy when everything is perfect according to three-dimensional concepts of perfect, and many still strive to attain the human sense of a perfect life. Even those who have attained what the world deems success, continue to seek something to fill an inner emptiness that can never be satisfied from without. However, in the beginning stages of spiritual awakening, Failure and disappointment are vital for they result in a seeking and digging deeper for answers, which in turn brings soul growth. This is the story of the Holy Grail, they sought it unsuccessfully the world over and found it back home hanging in a tree. Every soul longs to know and experience itself, but when an individual is ignorant of this, he seeks in the outer world of things, people, power, money, and sex. It is not meant that lives have no joy, for the energy of joy is closest to the divine. Embrace those things you enjoy, have fun and spend time doing what you love, but do not look to these things for that sense of completion that can only come through attaining a state of consciousness that knows it is already whole and complete. Spiritual evolution involves knowledge and then practice translating every appearance into the spiritual reality behind it until it becomes one's attained state of consciousness. This means realizing that everything you see, hear, taste, touch, or smell is a mind interpretation of a spiritual reality translated according to your attained state of consciousness and it demands walking the walk instead of just talking the talk. Gaia is making many changes in order to clear and shift her energy and you are going with her if you choose. Much is going to change after the clearing of the earth is complete. However, it is very important not to live in the future while ignoring the present, for simply waiting for change will cause you to bypass many opportunities for spiritual growth. Just live each moment as it comes along doing the best you can fully aware that you are having a third dimensional experience whether it is good or bad. We speak today of gratitude for this is the time in which many will celebrate a special day for giving thanks. Gratitude and akin to love, for it is a facet of love. There are some who reject the idea of gratitude choosing instead to stand firm in the belief that they are entitled to every good as well as the goods of others also. Actually as divine beings, Everyone is entitled to completeness and wholeness, but the ego sense of this truth the belief that one must scheme and demand for one's good reflects the low self-esteem and self-loathing that flows from believing in separation. Gratitude in its truest sense, is the joyous recognition of wholeness and oneness, but in the human scene is limited to the state of consciousness of the individual which often dictates who or what deserves gratitude. Belief in separation living from a state of gratitude in each moment leads to the deeper awareness and acknowledgement that life and everything in it is already complete and whole. I have because I am. A mind filled with strong beliefs of duality and separation can only manifest duality and separation. Some days will be good, and some days bad. Because of individual past life experiences, Every individual finds themselves more receptive to one or more of the particular world beliefs. This is why there are those who may experience more than the average of health-related problems. Another may have continuous relationship issues and there are those who live with unexplained and irrational fears. Specific struggles are the result of past life experiences that have programmed and then been held in an individual's energy field throughout lifetimes. These issues are now resurfacing for many in order that they once and for all be cleared and released. As evolving beings of light, you no longer need to drag these obsolete energies with you in the belief that they are personally yours, they are impersonal, comprised only of belief in them. If you believe you have nothing to give gratitude for, then you will manifest exactly that, nothing. 
each time you express gratitude either silently or vocally you are acknowledging, I have. As you let flow love and gratitude, you receive love and gratitude in infinite forms and variety, for there is only one, and that which you flow is flowing to you. What do I have? Look about you, see what you have, and start pouring. On a physical level, clean out your closets, garages, and shelves, get the flow going. There is someone who could use that item sitting unused. Hoarding is the consciousness of I don't have, and never will have, and so I must hold on to whatever I can. This state of consciousness will serve to perfectly block any energy flow. Again, there is only one, and you give to yourself when you realize that everything flows from one infinite omnipresent source and not from a limited personal pocket. On the emotional level, flow support, love, and practical assistance, but always from a level of compassion and not sympathy. On the mental level flow forth truth, and assist those ready and who ask to see what you see. Expressing gratitude in every moment will develop within you a consciousness of I have, which will then evolve into, I have because I am. Practice by giving gratitude for every facet of daily living, for a clean bathroom, a warm coat, a shovel path or the ability to shovel that path. It is the small things, the song of a bird, the purr of a cat, the wag of a tail, signs of love and oneness welcomed, but often not given gratitude for. Everything can be a source of gratitude, even the difficult experiences helping you to grow and evolve for without them you would not be where you are now. Look back and see how you have grown from some of your most difficult times. Everything is for spiritual growth even if some experiences do not fit a world concept of how things should be. Nothing experienced is ever forced, each is fulfilling their pre-birth contract set up to include whatever experiences are necessary for shifting to the next level. It is time to stop complaining that this or that is not the way you think it should be and therefore there is nothing to be grateful for. All are on earth to grow and learn spiritually, realizing unconditional love while experiencing duality and separation. No one is on earth to live a fat, happy, indulgent life of accumulation while doing nothing but desiring more. An unawakened society presents idols for you to emulate, idols of physical beauty, wealth, talent, and power. If you are to spiritually grow, you must see spying into this nonsense and realize that no one person, saint or sinner, has more God qualities than another. All embody the fullness of the Godhead, but are only able to experience and express it after it becomes a living, breathing state of consciousness. The outer scene is always a reflection of personal and universal consciousness. As long as there is a belief in duality and separation, there will be those who have more, and those who have less. Gratitude expressed silently, secretly, and verbally in every moment of each day is an activity of love reflecting the recognition of one's wholeness. Even if you are not experiencing what you consider to be wholeness at this time, realize that you are moving toward it and give gratitude for this realization. Recognize the outer for what it is and know that regardless of any outer circumstances you may be dealing with, Nothing can ever separate you from yourself. We are love and one with you. One divine consciousness infinitely manifesting itself as. We are the Arcturian group.